Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today we're going to highlight 10 of the very best new Cydia tweaks for the iOS 8.4 Untethered Taiji Jailbreak. <laughs> All right, and to start off, for those of you who are interested in winning a brand new 6th gen iPod Touch of your own, and if you want to see a drop test of the device, be sure to rate this video up and click the annotation on the screen now to be taken to my in-depth durability test where I throw the device off of a roof. Now, with that said, let's get into the tweaks, but first, you'll need to be jailbroken. So if you have yet to jailbreak, I will have a few annotations on the screen now, the first of which will be a link to my untethered Taiji jailbreak tutorial for all devices on up to iOS 8.4, and then I'll also have have two other links to videos discussing the top tweaks to install from Cydia once jailbroken. I highly recommend watching all of that in addition to this video. And of course, you will need to be jailbroken prior to utilizing any of the tweaks highlighted. All right, so to start off, let's launch up Cydia here because the first few packages are tweaks that actually modify Cydia installer itself. Yes, Cydia has been updated. It no longer runs as root, which means that mobile substrate can modify the Cydia app and other tweaks can influence it. So let's Let's tap back here. I just searched for Twitter++, plus plus, which is another tweak I'll mention in a second, but essentially with this tweak installed, swipe for more, what you can do is you can swipe over on any package that you see inside of Cydia and you can install it or you can add it to the install queue, which is great because then you can actually install multiple tweaks at a time. So in order to do that, all you have to do just like you normally would when installing a package inside of Cydia is queue up the install and then you'd normally have to tap on continue queuing, but this automatically does that for you. So as you can see, we're all set to install Twitter++. And from there, you can just go to whichever tweak you want to install next. So for instance, on Protein here, I see we have an available update. So we can swipe over on it and we can now queue to remove it. We can upgrade it or we can completely remove it altogether. So if we were to tap upgrade, we could just confirm that to not only install Twitter++, but also to upgrade Protein. Or if we wanted to, we could continue queuing it further. So that way we could add additional things to our queue. Now, now, next we have Translucent Cydia. So let's actually go ahead with this. We're going to tap on confirm there. And as you can see, now Cydia installer itself is somewhat translucent or transparent, and we have the default background. So now that it's finished, I'm just going to press the home button here. You'll notice this is indeed my background. So it just looks really nice. And I think it's definitely better than the default Cydia installation screen, because again, it does take whichever wallpaper you currently have set. Now, moving right along, we have a tweak called Dismiss Progress. As you'll notice in the upper right hand corner of Cydia, now on the install screen, you receive a close button. So we can just tap on this and it will minimize it. So it's already installed and it's already upgraded protein there. What we have to do for the changes to take effect is to just respring, but we can go about using our device just as you'd normally expect. So now you're no longer forced into respringing inside of Cydia and you can actually continue browsing through Cydia itself again without having to do that respring. All right, so for the final tweak that modified Cydia, we have Landia. So the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, like the iPad models, can rotate in the landscape mode inside of Cydia natively. However, if you have a smaller device with a 4-inch display, like the iPod Touch or iPhone 5S, you can't rotate. Landia enables that. Next, we have Twitter++. Now, I have detailed tweaks from this developer in the past on Lim apps. They're actually pretty darn good at providing tweaks that modify other applications. So let's scroll down here. You'll notice we have so many different new features that this adds to the default Twitter app itself, and it just makes everything much more convenient. I'm not going to go over all of the details now, but all you have to do is just launch Cydia and search for Twitter++, and it gives you so many new options for the app. Safari Swiper is actually a really great tweak that I'm starting to enjoy. What it does is it allows you to easily and simply switch between your tabs inside of Safari. So you'll notice here I have two things open. I have my recent drop test video as well as Free Apps Fast. So inside of Free Apps Fast, let's say that I don't wanna have to tap on this button over here in the bottom right to actually view my tabs, and I just wanna go to the next tab. All I have to do is just swipe over like that, and if I wanna return to it, I just have to swipe the other way. So it's really that simple. All you have to do is just pull on this bottom bar here and it will switch accordingly. However, it won't work when you swipe in the main content section of a page because of course that's how you go backwards or forwards inside of Safari for that specific tab. So it doesn't interfere with the default Safari options whatsoever. It's an awesome and convenient tweak for usability. Battery flow is a tweak that gives you more control over the low power alerts on your device. So inside of the settings app here, 
for battery flow, you'll notice we have three different main options after enabling it. We can set the battery alert type to either pop up, banner, or we can get rid of them altogether. So let's say hypothetically speaking, we wanna receive banners. So for the first pop up, what we can do is we can set which percentage we'd like to receive it at. Let's say 89%. And then from here, you can set the title, the description, and the button that you receive when you actually get that prompt. Backing out here before we preview it, you'll also notice we have four other options. So we can set up to five total battery alerts. It's really great and you can get so in depth with this in a very simple and streamlined interface. So for the first pop up here, let's just go ahead and quickly preview it. As you can see, we have testing at the top, it says battery percentage, and at the bottom we can just tap on got it and that's how simple it is. Remember, you can set up to five different alerts and you can set them for any battery percentage you want. Now, NC Floater is kind of a cool tweak. Essentially, it adds rounded corners to Notification Center and it just kind of overlays it onto your device's display. So it's definitely great for bigger screen devices like the iPhone 6 or 6 Plus or iPads. I'm not sure though if I want to add it to my roster of must-have tweaks or the tweaks that I utilize on my daily driver. So what do you guys think about it? Let me know down below in the comment section if you like NC Floater. Now, for those of you who utilize the App Store a lot, I think you'll really enjoy this tweak. It's called No Exploring, and basically it just removes the middle Explore tab from the App Store. As you can see, we no longer have it. That's because we have No Exploring installed. It's really just that simple. There are no settings to configure. It just removes that tab. All right, and for the final tweak in this video, we have Protein. Now, this is a paid tweak. However, because the developers are so cool, they actually give away free copies of it all the time on the Jailbreak Reddit. That's actually how I received mine and they're really great if you email them but with protein installed all you have to do is just toggle it on from there you can go into organization and you have complete customization options over your status bar so you can move around all of these different icons to whichever position you want you can actually completely hide them so as you notice there when announcing this tweak I actually moved the carrier logo to the center of the status bar I can completely hide it if I want to and it does apply in real time as you can see, we don't need to respring. So if we wanted to move the battery icon over to the left, all we have to do is just drag it up all the way over to the left. And if you bring them down to the bottom, it just sets them in the default position there. You also have some other options that I'm not going to get into, but protein is a really great tweak. So guys, that wraps up this video. I really do hope you liked the list. If you did, be sure to rate it up. And this video is sponsored by Pro Opinion, which is basically a toolkit of research-driven content that you can utilize and share with your friends for free. But the absolute best part of it is that users, once they sign up, can can get cash by participating in market research. You'll also have complete access to their full infographic database, and you can gain business facts and market research, again, all for free. So be sure to click the link down below in the more info to be taken to Pro Opinion, again, our sponsor for this latest Top Tweaks video. And if you guys wanna see more videos like this, just be sure to click the subscribe button down below next to my channel name if you have yet to. And for those of you who wanna be updated more often, of course, such as when I cover things like jailbreaking and top city of tweaks, just be sure to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and until next time, this is ICU signing out.